here with Paul Arena and we have a 1948 Dodge. Paul, tell me a little bit about this car. I know you've had it for a long time. Well, what happened is I wasn't into cars back in 1969. This gentleman was a customer of mine, came to the shop and asked anybody wants to buy the car. And I had two fellas that were working for me. And they said, yeah, I'll buy it. The other one said, he'll buy it. And for two months, they drove me crazy. Because you had to order a car, and it took two months to get back in 69. When the gentleman came to the shop and says, I'm here, none of them wanted it anymore. So I says, what do you want? He says, $300. So I says, you know, for $300, I'll buy it. So tell me a little bit about the specs, you know, what kind of engine, what's the horsepower output? Yeah, it's a flat six, 230 cubic inch, approximately 115 horsepower. And it has fluid drive. I don't know what you know about fluid drive. It's a three-speed transmission, but you, you don't have to shift it all the time. And if you come to a light, you don't have to push the clutch down. It's a four-door sedan. The back doors are called suicide doors. I tell you, they made over 330,000 of these cars in the, in the three years, 46, seven, and eight. But for some reason, you don't see them around. You know, you see Chryslers, you see Plymouths, but very rarely you see a, a Dodge of this model. So when people see it, they don't know what it is. They give you the thumbs up sign, you know, they beep the horn, and it makes you feel great, you know? Do you ever get any, like, uh, calls or offers to have your car in a movie or a TV uh, show? Many. One of the, the first movies I think I had was back in the early 70s. It was with Sylvester Stallone when he was just starting out. It was, the movie was called The Lords of Flatbush. Have you heard that movie? Yeah. And then when my daughter was born, picked her up at the hospital, in the car, because I was using it as an everyday car. Then later on, when she got married, I took her to the church in the car. So it's, it's like it's part of the family. You can't get rid of it. It certainly is part of the family. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>